If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing right now before the Ultimate Kickoff promo, as well as the season launch. Because remember, the season launch is going to take a shift on Madden, right? And we, we, all, we all know this. This always happens every year. Currently, we're playing with preseason content, right? Essentially, everything that comes up before the season is preseason content. And historically, preseason content is not remembered, right? Basically, cards, once the season starts, are pretty much dead. Now, it's not to say that they're not good in power-ups, their prices aren't still good. Competitively, they're really not that great. And that's because we're going to be getting Team of the Weeks. At this point, by the season, the Legends are already going up like one overall. Ultimate kickoffs out. We have the weekly content like the heavyweights and the uh, veterans and stuff. We usually have another promo coming pretty shortly after. Like We had Team Diamonds already at this point last year. Um, you know... This year of Campus Heroes. At this point, base leads are pretty much phased out because the highest overall base leads aren't even that great at this point. And that's not to mention that there's players higher than those overalls, right? So, lots to go over. Kind of what I want, I think you guys should be doing to preserve some coins to progress your team in this period. Because remember, it is very important to transition from segments of the game like efficiently. Because if you don't, you actually do end up losing a lot of coins. So, what I mean by that is some people have a team of like Pat Mahomes at quarterback, Tyreek Hill base elite. Travis Kelsey like this whole elite team right now there's still some value on those players but some of those people forget that they need to start transitioning to the next phase of Madden this next phase of Madden is going to be dominated by team of the week players legends ultimate kickoff and other players right surprise LTDs and it's not going to be teams with many base leads anymore but if you hold on to your base leads you're slowly just losing value on your team so it's time to start transitioning another thing I like to do is when I know a position's ready for an upgrade and I have the player that sticks still expensive at that position I like to get rid of them one example, guys, before we get into the video, is Jamar Chase. So I'm going to go into that in just a second. I'll tell you exactly why I sold my Jamar Chase. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys need super cheap coins, check out my new sponsor, guys. The coins are crazy cheap. You really can't go wrong with them. Check them out. Link will be down below in the description. And make sure to use code Poodle at checkout. As well as, guys, today's Poodle Squad shout out goes out to Honey Badger. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support in each and every video. And yeah, if you guys want to be like, uh, shout out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and be sub. Next, guys, so Jamar Chase. I recently just sold my Jamar Chase for, I believe, around 200, 230, 240K-ish, maybe 250. I don't remember. It was a few days ago. Now, point being is, why would I sell rookie premier Jamar Chase? And why wouldn't I hold on to him, right? For a few reasons, guys. Some of these rookie premier players still have crazy value, and they're going to be phased out pretty soon. Now, not all of them, but you can see they've already tried doing with some of them. So, for uh, example, right, Kyle Pitts. They tried, they they would have phased out Kyle Pitts if it wasn't for the fact that he was essentially free for a lot of people and that he still is super fast. Because Darren Waller being an LTD was the best thing for Kyle Pitts because if Darren Waller was not an LTD, Kyle Pitts would have been destroyed as well as uh, the George Kittle being a lower speed than Kyle Pitts. That has maintained him, right? But the problem is Jamar Chase is in a very different situation in a very different position. So Jamar Chase is now 196. So I already sold him for a higher price than you guys could sell him now. If you guys had sold him about a week ago, you would have gotten 300K for him. I sold him a week after that knowingly because I wanted to hold on to him. But here's the thing with Jamar Chase. The reason Jamar Chase has such a high value is because he was the fastest guy in the game. He is no longer the fastest guy in the game. And by by, by that by that default, he should have dropped even lower. The only reason he's holding value is because he's still a pretty limited card in terms of how many people I like on the blocks. Only five of them. Now here's the thing. Jamar Chase is not good at anything else besides speed. His route running sucks. His catching's not that great. You're better off getting a Tyreek Hill, right? The, the new Tyreek. First off, that, that's another thing. There's a free Tyreek. The problem with Jamar Chase, he can't be powered up. He doesn't get any abilities. And he has no route running. But that was okay because he was fast. They were getting a free Tyreek Hill tonight. Which essentially is a better Jamar Chase, right? 91 speed. 91 route running. Better catching. That off the rip is Jamar Chase 2.0 for free. So right off the rip, people tonight, once they get their Tyreek Hill, may no longer care for Jamar Chase. Now, yes, we have Joey Galloway. We have a bunch of other players that compete with Tyreek Hill. I mean, that compete with Jamar Chase, but they cost money. So people are okay with sticking with their Jamar Chase. But now that you're going to have Tyreek Hill for free and you have the people getting their Devin Hesters up, the use for Jamar Chase just isn't like there like it used to be. So again, one guy, like I said, you definitely want to be looking into selling guys like that. Like take a look at your team, right? And be like, okay, who are some guys that I think may get an upgrade soon, may get phased out? Like guys who weren't this fast. Like let's say you had a tight end like, Again, Travis Kelsey, he was never fast to begin with. He's going to keep getting phased out. Um, an example, right? I currently have Brandon Marshall on the block. I like Brandon Marshall. I think he's great. 
but he is only an 88 speed. I think he's the best wide receiver in the game, but I have a feeling like ultimate kickoff, legends, team of the week, something's going to drop some pretty banger big receiver like that. So in that in that instance, I want to I want to be ready because 88 speed already is pretty low in terms of how high people can speed up. So I know Brandon Marshall is going to get phased out pretty soon. Now, not as a one receiver. He can still be a two or three just fine with that stiff arm, the power, the height, he's fine. But I do think they're going to drop a super fat. Like, I, again, we have Randy Moss. Uh, still the potential for Randy Moss to come. You know, like, there's going to be guys that are going to be just as tall as him, but going to be able to go ahead and do some crazier stuff. So I have no problem with it, but he goes for 300K still, guys. And remember, that Legend bubble is going to pop soon. I've been saying this. That Legend bubble, like Ed Reed and all them, they're, they're like 300 plus K. That, that, that's like a crazy price for that overall. We're going to be getting cards soon that really, that, that's going to drop till we're like, the Raw Revis is like 220, 230. Not a ton, but enough to lose coins. Now, I'm holding on to Ed Reed, though, because Ed Reed still has a 90 speed. I can always have him at linebacker. I can keep him at safety free. Like, he's good. I, I'm going to hold on to Ed Reed. I'm taking a look at my binder, right? So, I did sell. I did put a few guys up, and I'll explain exactly why. So, like I said, I put Brandon Marshall up on the block for very specific reasons. Um... Michael Strahan's a guy that I kind of want to sell, but his price isn't crazy. So it's like, again, this bubble is not going to pop. You know what I mean? Like he was always actually, when he was, he was recently 170, 160, he was always cheap at that price. So I never really felt the need to actually have to sell him. He's really, really good. So that, that's like a guy like, okay, I'm okay keeping because he gets the block shit threshold powered up and chemmed up. He gets the power move threshold and he's not that expensive. So that's a guy that you can be like, okay, I can hold on to him because at his cheapest, he'll get like 160, 150. I'm not losing much coins there, but, um, a guy like the raw Darrell Reeves is a guy that I contemplated selling. You know, he still goes for 216. He or usually goes for like 246, 230. But he's not crazy overpriced as well as much as like, you know, the Brandon Marshall and Ed Reeds are. And when you check out his stats, he's still really good as well. You know, I mean, if you power up and chemed him up, he'll have the zone man press and speed thresholds. And he's Darrell Reeves. And he could probably get an upgrade later again in the year. But again, he's a cornerback. At depth positions, I don't get as scared for certain cards to lose things. Like I said, it really just depends, unless there's a lot of cards like him. Now, we're going to get a lot of good corners. He's only an 89 speed, of course. We do have some corners coming out with 90, 91 speed probably pretty soon. We already have a few. So, in that case, would you, was Darrell Reeves worth selling? Still probably not. He's still probably the best corner in the game in terms of just how much he can do. He's the best cover because all the corners with speed have no coverage. So, it seems like they're give, they're like trying to hold back and giving coverage corners that much speed just yet. So, Darrell Reeves is one of the few that can do it. So, I think he's still fine to hold on to. And I said, Jamar Chase had to go for me because for my team personally, right? I'm getting the free Tyree kill tonight, which is going to take over Jamar Chase's spot. I have Devin Hester about to come up to his 90, which is going to be taking my second wide receiver spot. And I have Brandon Marshall at one, which again, I've been pretty fine without really using him. And again, also another thing is that I did sell my, I returned my Xbox. I sent it back to Microsoft to get it fixed. It was having that turnoff glitch. So I'm stuck with the old Xbox for now. So I really won't be playing online this week because I, my next gen, my weekend league, it's just not the same, guys. I'm, I I I noticed once I switched consoles back, this console is really crappy compared to what I'm used to. It's a good console, but not what I'm used to. So I'm probably gonna be focusing more on solo battles and solo challenges this week. Probably maybe some head-to-head -head games. I probably won't go all in on weekend league this weekend. So in terms of that, I really it would be it would just be stupid for me to hold on to Brandon Marshall, all these expensive guys that I know are gonna come down. And if I can't use him again, Ed Reed and Devereaux, I want to keep, I want to hold on to, so I have no problem with that. Guys like Aaron Donald, it is what it is. Yeah, he's going to go down, but he's going to come back up when he gets a new card. And he frequently gets upgrades throughout the year. So that's really not a problem. So yeah, my best advice, guys, here is make sure you're checking out your team for what players are going to be phased out. So like I said, I know we're going to probably get some more wide receivers soon. We're probably uh, running back. They went pretty hard on recently, so I don't think we're getting another one there. We already had LT and uh, Saquon. I mean, Sa Saquon, LT, and Reggie. So I think we're pretty safe there. Like Saquon's okay. He's still the best. Of the three, in my opinion. And then um, tight ends, we've gotten pretty heavy. So expect some more defensive players come pretty soon. Some linebackers, some crazy pass rushers. So if you have any of the any of the bunch, there goes my Brandon Marshall card off, off the team. Sadly, I really did love that Brandon Marshall card. I thought he was really good, but I do expect him to come down. And the speed actually isn't that crazy. But yeah, I mean, I actually I did pull Brandon Marshall as well. So that was just some extra coins that I've been waiting on. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I mean... The only thing I'd recommend doing before these promos drop as well, if it's one last thing to say, is make sure you finish up your solos. I have pretty much all my solos done. Um, the only thing I haven't finished is campaign. I like to go nice and slow on that one. They're just longer, you know, longer full game solos. Everything else is done to where, like, you know, maybe I don't have max stars, but I got all the solos done uh, to where it required me to. And yeah, make sure you're getting everything done. Get that done because we have a little small period of time. Once the season starts with Team of the Week starting, you know, watching NFL season, school gets more in depth. It's going to get a little more hectic for you. So make sure you're getting that all done. But guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on the bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Uh, make sure to sub. If you want a Puda Squad shout out, like the video, comment down below Puda Squad and be subbed. And of course, if you need coins, head over to my sponsor down below. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.